Hey, Real Talk Podcast. <laughs> tuned in to another episode of a real talk podcast exclusive listen man pre-recorded situation first thing first click on the bell (laughs) sorry subscribe to the page smash that like button definitely share on your social engineering now as y'all see in the thumbnail pastor jamal man pastor jamal man (laughs) jamal bryant he keep his name in the tabloids, man, this dude, man, the devil is a lie. Let me just say that off top. The devil is a goddamn it lie. You hear me? This guy, Jamal Harrison Bryant, in his effort to think up a way to get men, black men, specifically black, into the church at a time when black men are leaving the church in droves. Why? Because of the fuckery that's going on. Y'all letting women preach. Y'all got fun boys up in there preaching. You got fun boys being the head of the deacon board and head of the choir as usual. Huh? You're doing the demonic ass praise dance worship. It's just full with demon time. And that's the reason why men are leaving. I'm telling y'all right now. That's the reason why men are leaving. That's the major reason why men are leaving. And uh uh, amongst the other things, but that's the major reason, though. And uh, this guy comes up with the bright idea to use the assets of the church. Just to imagine this, man. A guy who's the preside, a presiding over a congregation like he is, decides that to get black men to come back into the church, he's going to offer up a class to teach them how to cultivate, grow marijuana. <laughs> right uh, under the premise and guise of teaching them how to be farmers learn farming skills and techniques and how to be horticulturists and how to till the land right <laughs> and in the midst of him talking about this he's bragging about how much land that the new baptist uh New Faith or whatever his church is called, how much land they own, and that they're the uh, biggest land over landowners, uh, the the church that's the biggest landowner in America, allegedly according to him. So you know what I'm saying? That ain't got nothing to do with uh, the Most High. You hear me? I want to tell you right now, the devil is a goddamn it lie. You hear me? Uh, ain't nothing, man. Listen. <laughs> This is so blasphemic, you hear me? And this is why I say we living in the last days for sure because you know what I'm saying, I know the most high is looking down as he looks down and watches low, you understand what I'm saying? Observe from on high, you hear me? Not high off the pith, but on high, listen. Jamal Bryant has to be out of his mind. Right. Let's just say that. You know. <laughs> he said the little homie said, Did you just sell them? They got weed at the church? He said, Yeah, I'm there. Man, listen, man. Mm, 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 mm. The devil is a lie. That's all I can keep saying, man. This guy Jamal Bryant, man. You hear me? I'm gonna say he's boule. A legend. Uh you hear me? He's definitely a um uh, Member of Kappa Alpha Psi, though, that's a fact. Huh? Yeah, that's a fact. You hear me? So I wouldn't doubt if he's Boulé. But um, the very fact that he would even come up with this idea, and and not only that, would admit it in in public, on public platforms, uh, this sets a precedent for what I'm pretty sure we're going to start seeing, uh, uh, what I'm going to call the commoditization of the church. So demonic in its structure. Everything the Most High has in its right and balanced original form, LSD, Lucifer, Satan, the devil, has to make a K 
counterfeit. It has to make an inverse of that, an inversion of that, right? And what we seeing, and I'm telling y'all right now, I keep telling y'all the reason why the church is in the state that it's in, because it has fully become the synagogue of Satan. I've seen it with my own eyes. Right here in Columbus, Ohio, I've been to a lot of churches in Columbus since I've been home. Most of them are on demon time. I'm going to just let y'all know that right now. Most of them. You hear me? And uh, the sad part about it is that they don't even know it. They don't realize it or they do know it. And they just going ahead with it anyway. Which the third one would be the ultimate worst one. And guys like Jamal Bryant. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, they just uh, are con men. Uh, false prophets. Uh... You know, the prophets of Baal. You hear me? Yes, Jamal Bryant, you're a prophet of Baal. Right? Nowhere in the scripture did it ordain for any man of God to use selling of any type of anything, right? Directly in order to get people to listen to the word. Man. That outright, that right, that's so disrespectful. You hear me? And I know to those, all my people out there who tap in with me and my pops on Spiritual Roots Sunday, and all y'all who are believers in the Most High, I know that is very disrespectful. So just imagine how the Most High feels about that. You hear me? That's very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. And uh, the thing about it is, a guy like Jamal Bryant knows this. So we got to come up to a couple conclusions with this stuff. Either these guys are doing this stuff because they just being on some new stuff and they don't, you know, they're trying to try something new. We got to add that in. Or they doing it because they know it's fuckery, right? And they pushing an agenda or many agendas, right? Now, Jamal Bryant definitely knows what's going on. He's not stupid. He's not dumb. He's not ignorant. So the very fact that he would even introduce such a thing and say it publicly lets me know that this is uh, something right here. And why everything, it's so much other stuff to talk about. So much other stuff to talk about, man. You hear me? So much other stuff to talk about. But this is a story that I do not hear a lot of people talking about. Not a lot, I'm not saying I hear nobody talking about it. I'm not hearing a lot of people talk about it. I'm not gonna go in depth with it too. Now. I got a feeling that there's a lot more to this story than what we just now being told today, right? Now, I'm definitely going to keep my eye on this story. I'm going to look into it, but Pete Gang, y'all know, uh, outside of any investigation, looking into who may be connected, who's funding and all of that, think about it. They're using the church, Christian church, under the guise or under the perception that, uh, you know, this uh, new age. You hear a lot of pastors and like, preachers and ministers say new age, new birth, right? They're coming in with these new doctrines. You know what I'm saying? They're coming in with uh, rituals. You understand what I'm saying? That nowhere in the scriptures it's anything about praise dancing. You know, I know, I catch a lot of flack for that too, though, man. And when I went to a church, all right, I'm going to tell you a quick story. Uh, when I was in a joint, I was watching a church service on TV. And it was on Bounce TV in my city. And I just remember the little kids. It was two little, it was three little girls that had all white on. They had white gloves on. And their faces were painted white. And it just shocked me because I know what such stuff means, man. You know what I mean? Like, I studied, you know, uh, witchcraft, demonism. I, I studied these things, man. And not only that, I've read the Bible and I got a guy like my father who's very well versed in it. Nowhere in those scriptures does it say anything about praise dance worship, man. Nowhere. So when I seen that, the first thing that came to my mind was this demonic. It, it reminded me the way they was moving, pantomime. That's what I thought I was watching, pantomime. Mm, mm, mm. I could do a whole nother live stream on, on the, the, the etymology of pantomiming and where it stems from as far as the history. It's demonic in its nature. 
You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Jamal Bryan, man, you got to relax, man. It's our responsibility as real ones, as believers in the most high, to call out these false prophets and these demons, man. Shout out to Brother Larry Gators, man. Shout out to Geno Jennings, man. You hear me? Call them out. You hear me? Put them on Front Street. And this is just despicable right here, though, man. I know, you know, since I told my, I'm going to tell my dad, I'll, I'll talk to my dad here and say, I'm going to call my pops and uh, we're going to discuss this briefly on Sunday, but we got a dope show coming for y'all this Sunday on Spiritual Roots Sunday. So tap in and walk with us. Hit the like button, click on the bell, subscribe to the page. Of course, sharing your social engineering. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all tap in with me later on at night at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We're going in. And uh, make sure y'all tap in tomorrow night as well. Me and Ed, we're going live from the H Lofts, live in the flesh and sing on deck. And my brother Courtney Haynes and my sister uh, Valen Haynes, new uh, first Columbus, Ohio hair. B and B, we're gonna be in the building tomorrow night, man, and uh, chop it up for Friday night, wrap up and have a little discussion about a couple of things. So y'all make sure y'all tap in and walk with us, man. Enjoy y'all evening. Hey. It's not just different. It's facts for the facts. E and E. Stimulus package. Let's go. I'm from that nutty north. Drive through, yeah. walk through your hood, not just drive through. Yeah. In your hood, I'm good, I'm that fly dude. Yeah. All these bitches wanna kick it like Ryu. Yeah. In my D, yo, kissy face, hi boo. Yeah. If you're from up north, rip that shit. Say it real loud with your chest, nigga. Yeah. No NBA, no EA Sports, but I still ball. I'm from that nutty north. Act the green, Cleveland, that have number streets. Windsor Terrace, short north. On my north side, just ride with me. Brittany Hill, South Mock, New Jack, Toys in the noon. Can't forget about P Street and L Block 2, cause they some good. Why the street is really named that Straight facts, I ain't never gotta lie to ya Your side pride, gotta keep it live for ya My crip niggas dark blue like the Cuckoo Hoyas My blood niggas die moon like the Master Wars Can't forget about Genesee Avenue That's where a nigga made dividends revenue Murder Street, Miss Enos, Dirk Barbecue I advise Windsor and Cleveland Avenue Caddy Corner, Cross Street, Times Corner Store Just one thing, once your terrace famous for Can't forget about D&J, 4th and 8th Agents Crib cooking up four ways of eight On the north side, niggas, they're really great Then the better side of town, I sit and wait All y'all other side of town, y'all went away All y'all other side of town I'm from that nutty north, Agra Green, Cleveland, Avenue, Number Street, Windsor Terrace, Short North, on my north side, and ride with me, Brittany Hill, South Mock, New Jack, Joyce, and the Noon, can't forget about P Street and L Block 2, cause they some goons, nutty north, Agra Green, Cleveland, Avenue, Number Streets, Windsor Terrace, Short North, on my north side, and ride with me, Brittany Hill, South Mock, New Jack, Joyce, and the Noon, can't forget about P Street and L Block 2, cause they some goons.